longest term relationship that we all have here today, I'm sure, is the one we have with Lois Stackpole Alley. Uh, <coughs> she has given her life to make living here in Mid Coast, Maine, the best it can possibly be. There have been a lot of biscuits and gravy and turkeys and turnips and green beans and, well, you finish the list, uh, that have passed through her hands and into our tummies over these years. And a lot of tummies that are not rolling anymore have appreciated uh, all of her gifts in the kitchen. Um, our lives are better for having known her and shared her table skills. Her selfless dedication to anyone with an appetite is legendary. And the fruits of her labors have been devoured not only in dining rooms, but in personal kitchens all the way across Knox County for five decades. You may be wondering why this party is here today instead of in some other classier place, although this one looks pretty good to me. Uh, <clears throat> it is at the Aldersgate United Methodist Church because the initial outreach to those hungry seniors uh, began at the Pratt Memorial United Methodist Church, which is now downtown as the Wyeth Center. We lived 120 plus years in that building, and that's where this outreach to seniors began, in the kitchen of that building. Uh, <clears throat> in 1996, some of the same women who had the vision for that feeding program uh, propelled their congregation out here onto the lakeside where they wouldn't have to climb to the second story anymore and they wouldn't have to park their cars four miles away. You can see we have wonderful parking. Um, we are very pleased to have been able to give our historic home for a price uh, to the Wyeth Center and they've made wonderful use of it and we're grateful for that and we appreciate the Lakeshore. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, the ladies who helped us make this transition to the Lakeshore brought with them the spirit of caring and concern that started a weekly luncheon for senior citizens at the downtown church. That's where it began. After a while, the meals added days because we discovered people got hungry every day. And then they began to realize that they had many seniors who were unable to travel to come to the church for a meal. And some of the ladies who were in charge of that meal said, oh, I'll take it to them at their house. And so the folks who were serving in the kitchen began to take the food to people where they lived. Uh, it wasn't long before some of those drivers began to realize that they might be the only human contact some of the recipients would see on any given day. Many of you know that feeling because you have taken up their task. How many of you in this room have been drivers for this program? Aha. When the program got too big for the dedicated folk at Pratt Memorial, along came a tiny lady named Lois. She was fresh out of some camp kitchen, as I recall, and she tackled the program with gusto and the rest of us have been running to keep up with her ever since. Lives touched, lives blessed, and lives lived independently for years longer than they thought possible are the lives that we celebrate today. We celebrate the Pratt Memorial women one of whom, by the way, is working in the kitchen today. Uh, they had the vision. We celebrate the hundreds, likely thousands, of drivers and millions of miles that have been driven. 
We celebrate the kitchen partners who peeled the potatoes and stuffed the turkeys at Lois's direction. And we celebrate the God who puts into the heart of all of us concern for the needs of others. <laughs>